If you go to Chicago or Paris or Rome, you go to New York City, you remember the artwork, you think of the incredible artwork that people invested in. It's within reach to think like this because somebody at some point did this kind of creative planning and they put their community on the map for centuries. So why not do it in Frederick? We also want to think about what do we want to be known for in 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, and that takes planning in advance. We have a rich and deep history, and public art is a way of bringing that history alive in a dynamic, innovative, capturing way. It brings business. Businesses, of course, want to relocate if they have a lot of culture in the community, and they want their employees to be happy and have things to do, artistically speaking, on the weekends and at night. And it also brings communities together we also have a diverse community and we want to enhance our expression of culture to reflect the growing and increasing diversity in our community. We certainly have the talent here. Thanks to the Oshman Family Foundation, we have an investment that'll take us to the next level. Frederick has always been a very strong arts-oriented community. When you come into Frederick County, you know in a very creative way that you've arrived. We already have a wonderful tradition of murals, but we can build on this tradition and do it in a really innovative way. The Osherman Family Foundation funded the Public Arts Master Plan in order to set the foundational work for growing and growing in a coherent, strategic way when it comes to the arts. We have a good, strong tradition and we're ready to build on it. Any community very serious about public art will do a master plan. That's because it includes the governance recommendations, the funding recommendations, how to make a priority list, how to implement the priority list. It's full of best practices. We went with a consultant that could advise us on the public art master plan, someone who's considered to be the best in the nation. So it puts us on the map for public art and it draws people from outside and it inspires those who live here already. The Frederick Arts Council approached the Osherman Family Foundation to help provide some seed money for Sky Stage, which is an outdoor amphitheater and public art project. This was in the very early days when the artist Heather Clark saw the ruined building after a fire and got interested in transforming that space. They wanted to see that the community was behind it. We got seed money for the Sky Stage project, which is really cataclysmic. It's a perfect example of what's possible here in Frederick on a larger scale. The arts is a transformative aspect of our community and we want to continue to make it as strong and innovative and inclusive as possible.